Hey guys, Jennifer here, and I'm here to address another question that I've been getting asked a lot lately. So some of you are a little lost when I say that I'm hiking the trail. Um, and there's normally two extremes that people go to. Uh, the first extreme is like my grandma who are under the impression that I'm going to be bushwhacking for six months through wild trees and fallen logs. And um, that's definitely not the case. And then there's the other half who think that I'm gonna be staying at hotels and hostels almost every single night, which is also definitely not the case. So this is actually a well-established trail. It has tons and tons of volunteers every year who go out and maintain the trail. Um, and it is a footpath about one to two feet wide at most. Um, the entire length of, from down in California all the way up to Mexico or Canada. Wow. Okay. Uh, so with that being said, I will see town once a week, approximately, sometimes a little longer, sometimes a little bit sooner. Depends on my hiking pace, etc., etc. But I will be sleeping in my tent the majority of the time, unless I've just had a really bad day and I need to give my body a break and I can afford a hotel. I'll stay in a hotel every once in a while. Uh, but for the most part, I'm sleeping in my tent and I am carrying food with me until I reach the next town for resupply. Um, I'm not sure if I have too much or too little food at the moment. But I want to go ahead and show you guys what I have planned for my first week on trail so you guys kind of get an idea of how I'm going to be eating, which is pretty much eating like garbage. So here we go. I just got back from Walmart. And the first thing is super important. Ziploc bags. Because most of my food that is in here is going to get repackaged and portioned into smaller sizes that fit better. Also, I'm sorry if it looks like I'm having a stroke. I had dental work and the side of my face is completely numb. I don't feel anything. So I may sound a little funny, forgive me. So Ziploc bags, super important. And I'm going to be repackaging all this later. Now for breakfast, one of my breakfast foods is oatmeal. I have 20 packages of oatmeal right here. <laughs> Uh, I normally eat two at home for breakfast, so I bought extra oatmeal and I normally don't cook it anyways because it gives me more nutrients and I don't know, I just like it better. Packed full of calories, 160 calories, 130 calories per serving. I normally eat two servings at a time, so I will get loaded up in calories there. Uh, next thing I went ahead and bought is instant milk. Um, just in case I do want to cook my food or I want milk, um, I have that option. I'm going to portion this up into individual glass servings and just add water. Everything that I got, I can cook with water or just soak and I don't have to worry too much about doing anything other than boiling water. Um, and then kind of like a luxury item for a really hot night. I'm not a big coffee drinker most of the time anyways. Uh, however, I did find Just Add Water apple cider. So I plan to have this on a really chilly morning and I'm super excited. Um, I'm going to bring a little bit of tea, but that's going to probably be for sleep. Uh, and apple cider is my lifeline and it will make me think I'm getting fresh fruit when I'm not because there's no fresh fruit on the trail. All right, so coming over here into my other bag, um, most of these are my dinners. However, I found these I've never tried before, but they're cheese crisps. They have 150 calories per uh, serving or 300 calories per bag. So I have Asagio and Pepper Jack cheese crisps I plan to eat with pepperoni, and then just Parmesan cheese crisps. So I'm excited to try those and put them into smaller Ziploc baggies because as you can see, those take up tons of space. Uh, I have hard candies, especially because I am going to be quitting smoking and I'm going to be absolutely miserable. I also went ahead and bought gum because 
I don't know how I'm going to go without nicotine. So Werther's take without as long as a cigarette does and so does gum. These are kind of just my, uh, I need to pick me up but I'm not hungry or I'm trying to starve off until I'm letting myself eat again if I didn't bring enough food. Um, so I have those. Uh, next to some dinners I have. So I found macaroni and cheese, but I found a con queso and a bacon one. Both of these are at 340 calories per serving. I plan to throw tuna or salmon into them, maybe spice it up a little bit, seasoning. They'll cook really fast, just add water. Most of you know the drill as far as these go. Again, going to pre-package them into something smaller because these are too much space. I also went ahead and got one stick of salami for now. It doesn't expire until you open it. And then I still have a few days that I don't have to refrigerate it. It's just recommended. It's a hard meat, it should be fine. And I hate, hate salami, so pepperoni it is. Um, plastic bottle of olive oil. Olive oil flavors my food and gives me tons of calories, which I need. Uh, I also have way more tuna than this. That's in my cabinets right now because I could live off of tuna. So I have hickory smoked tuna, I have lemon tuna, I've got salmon, I've got Thai chili tuna, I've got regular tuna. Uh, and then when I actually get to California, I'm planning to go to the grocery store so I can get cheese, a block of cheese and tortillas, and then raid, you know, McDonald's and Taco Bell for packets of ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, whatever else I want. I also got handy snacks because they're super unhealthy and they're 100 calories a piece and I'm just addicted to the cheese. So I got handy snacks because that's healthy. I also found dehydrated peanut butter. I've never tried dehydrated peanut butter. Normally I use Justin's nut butter but it's like $13 a jar for my chocolate almond butter. It's better with fruits which I'm not gonna have easy access to, and I just, I can't do it. So I'm gonna try dehydrated peanut butter. You just add a little bit of water and mix, and it's good to go, and it is powdered, so it'll take up less space than an actual jar will. Um, so this is gonna be interesting. We'll see how this goes. I will let you know later on whether or not this works and whether or not it tastes good, because my dad said I'm going to hate my life. And then for the fun dinners. Idahoan broccoli cheddar potato soup. I'm gonna put bacon bits in it. I only got one of these because potatoes are one of my favorite foods and I'm not trying to ruin them by eating them incessantly for six months. I got Nora's rice. I got a herb and butter and a creamy chicken. And I could probably divvy these up into smaller portions. So that's maybe hopefully like four or five nights worth of food instead of three. Also got granola as a snack. I love granola and it's honey bunches of oats, so it tastes good and I'm excited for that. And then I got one more bag, uh, Rice Krispies. They really offer me no calories or any nutrients that I could possibly need at all. However, I'm a sucker for Rice Krispies and I'm not a big chocolate eater unless I'm having a really, really bad day. And if I'm having a really bad day, I could probably trade a Rice Krispie for a chocolate bar. Barter system is alive and well. So I have these. And then I have tons of Cliff Bars. I'm starting with Cliff Bars just because of the ease of access and the price. They were all on sale today. Um, however, I know I'm going to get tired of them. But they are full of calories. And when I do tire of them, they have other options that aren't necessarily by Cliff that will give me the calories that I need and offer me kind of a different taste. Um, so I got berry pomegranate chia, which I've never tried. Hopefully I don't hate them. I got hot chocolate on a nice cold night before bed with marshmallows. Because muck muck mellows. I got bacon bits because I want to flavor a lot of my food and spice things up. Be exciting. Be a chef. Uh, I got couscous. 
I've heard great things about this. People on the trail swear by it. I've never had it before, so I'm going to do a test run before I ever get on the trail to make sure I really like it. But I got roasted garlic and olive oil, and it comes in um, as packaged at 190 calories, prepared 270. So it's pretty good calorie to weight ratio. Um, we'll see how that goes. I also have chia in my cabinet that I just plan to pour on my oatmeal and into all of my food. Uh, I also have peanut butter crunch bars. They fell out of their box, so they're going back in their home. Uh, and then I have nut butter filled coconut almond butter cliff bars. Never tried these. Aw, and I had a coupon and I she didn't take it off. It was for a dollar off. So if anybody wants my coupon, let me know. Um, and that is all the food I plan to eat in my first week on trail. I have no idea if this is too much food. I have no idea if this is not enough food. Luckily in my first four days, I will run into a resupply point. So if I have too little, I can buy more. And if I have too much, I can put it in the hiker box. Not really sure how it's looking yet, but that's kind of a rough estimate of what I'm going to be doing for six months. Um, there's a good chance that my dietary tastes and preferences and nutritional needs are going to change as I go through this adventure. And when that happens, every time I reach town, I'm going to be like, you know what? I'm sick of oatmeal. I'm not doing oatmeal. I'm buying a box of Frosted Flakes and I'm prepackaging that into smaller Ziploc bags because oatmeal can die. That's probably going to happen. Um, but at least I have that option. I'm not eating the same thing every single day. I'm trying to get different calories and different flavors. I'm trying to stay relatively healthy, uh, despite that this is all packaged crap. And that's about it for this video. So thanks guys. This was probably boring, but thanks.